six OD six 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 six. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? I hope pretty well. Uh, hope you guys had a good Fourth of July and shot up some fireworks, some bottle rockets, and things like that. Man, Fourth of July. Anyway. It's been a while since I've done a video. I got some stuff here that I can show you. Uh, first off, I got this from the other day. It's a uh, Itchy the Killer. It's a blood pack. I paid like 20 something bucks for this, right? And I ordered it. Man, don't. It's a cool set. I'm not saying it's not a cool set, but ordering it is not a good idea, especially how hot it is lately. Um, my case, it comes in a little. Uh, like a plastic case and uh, I live in Alabama so everything gets stuck together and it's a pain in the ass but uh, I'm gonna try to show this to you if I can get it out God, this thing, it's, the packaging on this thing kind of sucks anyway okay this part of the case, whoops, this part of the case, whoops, this part of the case sucks, it's really cheap, and uh, when it, they were shipping it, it cracked all up the side, I got a bunch of cracks in it, and like I said, I paid, uh, you know, over 20 bucks for this thing, so I was a little pissed off, but uh, anyway, but this is the blood pack it comes in, it's like a, uh, you know, something in a hospital, so they get a blood bag, but, uh, it's pretty cool. It's got the blood in there. It's pretty neat. It looks like it's all over the DVD. It's a two DVD this set. You pull the DVDs out like that, they get stuck in there real easy. I don't know how good it is for the DVD to be in this plastic, but it's really cool. I don't know. It's a really cool uh, collector's item, I guess. But it's cool. Anyway, there's that. Then I got this in the other day. It's a movie called Asylum. It's an amicus movie. It's pretty much got a, I think, three like short stories on it. It's almost like a, I mean, it's not like Creep Show, but it's like that kind of style of different stories on it that has a, a wraparound story. Uh, it's pretty good. I liked it. Now, this is PG, so don't expect any really hardcore violence or anything. But if you like things like The House of Drip Blood and Hammer movies and things like that. You probably will enjoy it. It's got a, you know, a good old Peter, uh, not Peter Cushing, but, uh, Christopher Lee, I think. <clears throat> no, it is Peter Cushing, never mind. Peter Cushing's in this stuff, so if you like things with him in it, it's pretty much your basic, you know, horror like that. It's, you know, the organs and all that dark gothic music. It's, it's cool. It's, it's pretty good. That's worth a pickup. Then I got this old exploitation movie here. I heard it about Mr. Parker was talking about it, so it made me curious. I like uh, some exploitation 70s stuff, you know. So this is a pretty good movie. It's uh, made by, I think it's Italian guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, Cast yeah. Castellari. I don't know, he directed this, but it's, it's a pretty good movie. It's kind of like, if you like things like Death Wish and things like that, this is a pretty good movie. Now, the main actor, what happens is uh, he goes, he's like in the bank or the post office or something, and then he gets robbed, and he kind of uh, fights back a little. He gets beat up. And the people that he takes a trial about it, they get off the hook because they bribe the uh, judge and this and that. So he gets pissed off about it and goes crazy in the courtroom, and he ends up, you know, getting in trouble for it. So he's all pissed off, and uh, he finds out cops have something to do with these mobsters and you know they're not doing anything about it because they're kind of in cahoots with them so he takes his own revenge as a vigilante so if you like movies about vigilantes and uh, revenge and stuff like that it's a pretty good movie i thought it was pretty solid good stuff it's put out by blue underground so i'd pick it up i mean it's pretty, i like it then i got this rock and roll frankenstein yet another one mr parker was talking about i was like curious about because you know me I like the cheesy ass movies, so this is put out by Shakarama. Now you may be like, "Oh shit, Shakarama!" They kind of suck. Now I've seen some other Shakarama titles that were terrible, 
this was a pretty fun movie. This is a pretty damn good movie. I like it. It's really goofy and cheesy, and it's just really fun. It's got a lot. It's actually funny. Like, I mean, the jokes are cheesy, but they're actually pretty funny. I like it a lot. It's, it's about this uh, record company guy. He, uh, he's doing shitty. All his bands that he has on his label suck, and this and that, and whatever. But uh, they dig up these different body parts of different famous musicians like Jimi Hendrix, Sid Vicious, Elvis, you know, and they make a rock and roll Frankenstein. So <laughs> he pretty much acts like Elvis, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> they're they're going to put a wiener on him, and he's like, put Jim Morrison's wiener on him, but the stoner guys that go get the wiener, they drop it and ruin it. They drop it in, like, acid, and it melts it. So they're like, this just grab one, let's get out of here. So they grab Liberace's wiener, and that wiener makes him gay, and he don't know how to deal with it. It's, it's a real funny, stupid movie. I like it. Then I got this. This is a great movie. You all should get this movie. If you don't know about this movie, get it. If you like, you know, rape revenge movies, and you like uh, Last House on the Left, which actually, I'm kind of in between, but I think I like this better than Last House on the Left. And I'm not talking about the new one, I haven't seen that. I'm talking about the old Wes Craven one. But this was a really cool movie, and it's got David Hess in it, and he kicked ass back in the day. He was so he was such a cool, just sleazy ass actor. I mean it was it's a, he played the role great. But this is a good movie. Has a lot of now if like rape scenes bother you and stuff like that, you do not watch this because it's like really out there. It's really, it just makes you hate the characters, and it's a, it's a really good movie. <clears throat> this movie. This movie is awesome. Awesome. Seriously. Eight. Um, Ween Horror Cat, uh, Ween Hum Cat Horror. Uh, you know, uh, I can't think of everybody right now. I'm just thinking about how awesome this movie is, but if you like slashers, if you like blood, if you like guts, you like clowns, you better pick this damn movie up. This movie kicks ass. I love this movie. I thought it was great. I couldn't believe they could put out a movie like this nowadays because it's totally 80s. It's a great movie. Now, the acting's not that great. I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's not like, you know, it's no Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio, but, uh, you know, it was, it was man, if you... There's so much violence in this movie, I loved it. It's so good. He just hacks people up, and it's insane. But if you're into that kind of thing, definitely pick this up. Then I got this movie, Intruder. Great movie. Um, it's pretty low budget. It's early, you know, 80s. Uh, I don't know. But, you know, it's got it's got old Ted Raimi and uh, Sam Raimi, I think. Yeah, I think it's got Ted Raimi in it. I know it's got Sam Raimi in it, but anyway, this movie's pretty violent. It's got effects by KMB, you know, Howard Berger and Nicotero, so you know the effects are cool, but it's a good slasher movie. It's in a grocery store, and it's pretty much set in the grocery store. They don't really leave the grocery store, so it's a, it's a cool movie. I definitely picked this one up. Uh, then I got this thing. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to review the movies on here. It's a 100-pack horror classic, which it has some pretty cool stuff on here, right? It's got a hundred movies, so you know it's got to have a few that's cool on here, but I just figured I'd pop it in, check it out, see what they look like. The transfers suck. Mill Creek transfers suck. If you look at the back of one of these things, and it says Mill, Cr Mill Creek, look, it's got that little windmill, and it says, shit, it says Mill Creek, don't pick it up. The transfers are terrible. And then I just picked up a few movies today. I got this. Yeah, I'm a loser. I still haven't watched this. You can comment me and tell me how much I suck. But I heard this was really cool. It sounds like my kind of thing. So I'm going to check this out. And Doro Argento is great. So. And then I got this today in the mail. I haven't checked this out. I know a lot of people are like, eh. But it just looks like my kind of movie. I don't know. It just looks like a, a cheap, uh, I don't know, exploitation film. But it looks cool. Some weird video. They put out a lot of... You can never tell with some weird video. Sometimes I put out some great stuff. Sometimes I put out some absolute just terribleness. And then I picked this up. Strange Invaders and Invaders from Mars from the 80s. 
the Invader from Mars the remake with Toby Hooper. I still haven't seen either of these, so I'm gonna check these out. They look cool. I'm not a big sci-fi guy, but uh, I don't know. I like the cheesy 80s sci-fi kind of deal, so I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. It looks like it'd be fun. I love Deadly Spawn and all that, so. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I got for you. I don't have any jokes. I'm pretty lame today, I guess. I don't know. I went to Team Transformers 2. Uh, you know, it was pretty transforming. There was things that were transforming in it. Anyway, bye. Bye-bye.